Joining me on the couch are Andre Peterson and Leti Kumalo. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. All right, we're here to talk about the Winnie Mandela film that you both worked in. Um, Andre, first, can you tell us why it was important to tell Winnie's story? We hear Nelson Mandela's story all the time, and I think Winnie's is one that sometimes, you know, falls at the wayside. Why it was it important for you to tell the story? Winnie's story is a very important story. It's not only important for the South African history, it's also important because it's a women's empowerment story. When he came from a rural background in the little town of Bizana on the Transkei coast, graduated uh, in a little farm school, and then became the top, top scholar at the college in Johannesburg where she was offered a, a scholarship to go to Washington for further studies. She thanked uh, them for the bursary, but she elected to stay with her people in the Baraguana Hospital because she said, my people need me. And that is why Winnie story is such an important story. Is this a story you always wanted to tell? It's a story that I became enthusiastic about when I read her book, Winnie Mandela Life, written by Anna Marie Bestrop and the film's screenplay is based on that book. And it's been a wonderful experience to learn more and more about that incredible woman. Well, Leti, what was it like um, for you to take part in this movie that really just depicts an epic life and an epic journey? Uh, first of all, it was an honor for me to get that phone call that says uh, you're going to be doing this movie, the Winnie Mandela story uh, movie. It was an honor for me, I must say, uh, because uh, these women are such, uh, we look up to them, you know. And to portray uh, my, Mrs. Adelaide Tambo, it was, it was a challenge for me. And I always say myself, if I do work that challenges me, that's a, 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 a right one. And I asked myself if I'm going to portray it perfectly, but I always give my best, you know. It was, it was a challenge, I must say. I read and read and read everything about her, but it, it's not only about reading. It's uh, at the end of the day, you have to portray it. Yeah. So yeah, I, I did my best. And you played Adelaide Tambo, you just mentioned. Can you tell me about Adelaide, what it was like to play that character? It was, um, like I said before, it was, challenging mm -hmm. because these women are very strong you know first of all you need to tell yourself that um, I'm not just portraying a woman uh, next door you know I'm portraying a, a woman that is known you know all over the world so you need to portray that strongness of, of that woman it wasn't easy I must say the movie was released last year in America why has it been I guess not so long, but why has it been a little while for it to be released now in South Africa? We originally planned to release the film at the end of last year, mm -hmm. uh, only to find that uh, due to events which they, they know best, the producers of Long Walk to Freedom decided to announce their release about simultaneously with uh, our scheduled release. And as a courtesy to the Mandela story, we discussed with Stir Kinniko to move the date and it's moved to uh, March the 7th. And that has given the audiences of South Africa enough time to see the Mandela story yes. told brilliantly. And ours is the other Mandela story. And we believe told- Also told brilliantly. We'll wait for the audience <laughs> to tell us. Now you said you, um, obviously adapted the screenplay from the book. What, what is that process like adapting um, a screenplay from a book while still trying to keep as much of the story intact, but obviously making it shorter for a film? How, how do you choose what stays and what goes? It took four years to achieve that. <laughs> and while we did it, we were fortunate that Anna Marie Bestrop's book was hugely uh, uh, successful in its research and there were there were stories and incidents and comments in the book that has never before been published and as a result it's found its way into the film 
That's why our tagline is the untold story.